Pepper and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Mm. <laughs> Would you like to play vegetables in space at my house? Yes, yes please! please. <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Pepper is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! <laughs> Follow me. Pew, pew. Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon, just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> oh dear, there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. <laughs> um, what are we looking for on the moon? Beep, the only thing on the moon is the moon. Beep, Papa. The moon is made of cheese. So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course. <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. Today, Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Yay! Peppa and George love sleepovers. <laughs> Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello. Oh. Hello. What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One. <gasps> midnight feast coming up. Here you go. Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush, and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, okay, Peppa. Just one story, and then sleep. Hooray! This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh! Once upon a time, there was a magic night train which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. <gasps> Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> Chicka, chicka, chicka. <laughs> wow. Hmm? 
morning and we're not in space anymore. Space? <laughs> what do you mean? I think we fell asleep, George. Pepper had a wonderful <laughs> dream about a magical night train. Look, we arrived at the seaside. Pepper and her family have arrived at the very far away seaside, and they all enjoyed their train sleepover. The treasure train is on its way. Choo choo! <laughs> Yay! Peppa Pig and Danny Dog are driving a train full of gold, silver, and broccoli. <laughs> Is broccoli treasure? Yes, it's special broccoli made of sparkly diamonds. <laughs> Peppa and Danny aren't really driving a train. They're using their imagination to pretend. Hooray! Stop! <gasps> In the name of... um... robbers! <gasps> oh no! Pedro Pony and Susie Sheep are pretending to be train robbers. Can we have all your treasure, please? <laughs> no! Oh! OK. <laughs> You're supposed to steal the treasure, <laughs> Susie. Ha-ha! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have stolen all the treasure! Hooray! <sighs> um, what do we do now? You escape. <laughs> oh, yes. Yee-haw! <laughs> Come back, you naughty robbers! Now Peppa and Danny are pretending to be police officers. They're going to catch the robbers. Oh. You caught us! No, we didn't, because... Um... Ha! Your mm. boat can fly! Whoa. Um, Madame Gazelle, can ships fly? Real ships cannot fly. Oh! But pretend ships certainly can. Hooray! Wow! Now Pedro and Susie are in a flying boat. Oh, um... <gasps> Our train can fly too! Whee! Yay! <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> hey! Police officers Pepper and Danny have almost caught the robbers. <gasps> Daddy Pig! And he's coming to take you home! <laughs> Charge! Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, Peppa? We're pretending to fly our boats and trains, Daddy! <laughs> oh my! What an imaginative bunch you all are! Oh! Aha! Peppa loves imagining things! Everyone loves imagining things! <laughs> A witch! Pepper, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, and Freddy Fox are dressing up to play a game. I'm going to be a brave knight. I'm going to be a wizard. I'm going to be a footballer. Hooray! Hooray! Now we can go on an adventure. <laughs> Pepper is imagining George is a goblin. Let's pretend we have to rescue Teddy from that goblin. <gasps> yes! That's George, Pepper. We're just <laughs> pretending, Freddy. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's the goblin and Teddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig is fast asleep. Let's pretend Daddy is a sleeping dragon. Shh! And let's pretend the living room is a cave. Ooh. <laughs> Follow me. We have to be quiet so we don't wake the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, goodness, I must have dozed off. Now we have to save Teddy from that big castle. We'll use magic to rescue Teddy. And I'll use my football. Hello, little goblin. We're here to rescue Teddy. George doesn't want to be a goblin. Oh, do you want to help us rescue Teddy instead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if George isn't a goblin, then who has Teddy? Dinosaur! Now everyone is pretending that the dinosaur has Teddy. <laughs> Teddy has been rescued by the witch, the wizard, the brave knight, a footballer and George, who is not a goblin. Peppa Pig and her friends are at the aquarium today. They're all pretending to be fish. Meow, what's that? This is an octopus. It has eight long wibbly wobbly legs. Ooh. Actually, an octopus only has two wibbly wobbly legs. The other six are wibbly wobbly arms. Rip wobb, rip Wow! I wish I had a rainbow tail. <gasps> Let's be mermaids, Susie. <laughs> but we don't have mermaid tails. But we can pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Peppa Whee! and Susie are pretending they are mermaids with long, lovely tails. Hello, seahorses. We can swim around just like you. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> <gasps> it's so pretty! What is it? This is an oyster. <laughs> it has a pearl inside. <gasps> a pearl? <gasps> What's a pearl? It's a very lovely shiny object. Can we open it and see it? An oyster only opens when it's ready, so we'll just have to be patient. Hmm. I can't see the pearl. Excuse me, Mr Oyster. Can you open, please? We're being really patient. <laughs> Can you go, ah, like at the dentist? Hmm. Um. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not working. <gasps> it's so jiggly. <laughs> Let's tickle it open. Mermaid Pepper and Mermaid Susie are trying to tickle the oyster so it'll open. They tickle and tickle and tickle, but the oyster still won't open. It's not working. We'll never see the pearl. We'll just have to wait. <sighs> It's the pearl! It's so pretty! <laughs> the oyster has finally opened. The pearl inside is very lovely indeed. Aww. Rip wob, rip wob! But I want to see the pearl. Can we make it open, please? <laughs> no, Danny. Oh. We have to be patient. Everyone knows that being patient can be tricky, but Peppa and Susie know that the very lovely pearl will be worth the wait. Hooray! Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> Oop! Careful, George. This is a very small town and you're a very giant dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? 
<laughs> George is very excited to play giants with Pepper. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello, I am Giant Pepper. <gasps> a giant! Two giants! <gasps> Peppa and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds. Hello, clouds. <laughs> <gasps> Hello, everyone. <gasps> Bear, our ball is stuck in that very tall tree. We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> oh, careful, George! <laughs> there you go, Susie! Hooray! <laughs> giant Pepper and Giant George love to help their friends in Toyland. <gasps> they help the passengers wee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! <laughs> wee! and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! It's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh. Don't worry, we can fix it. Pepper and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Pepper and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! 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 Oh, goody! Yay! Hungry! I'm hungry too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! Hooray! So, they will have to have real food instead. Careful, George! <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are playing in the sand pit. Peppa is playing with toy cars. She has a fire engine, an ambulance, a digger, and... George, where's the police car? The police car is lost in the sand. Where did you put it, George? Police car? <laughs> it's OK. We'll find it together. It'll be... Aha! An adventure! Peppa and George are pretending they are in a big sandy <laughs> desert. Let's take the fire engine. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Peppa and George are using the fire engine to search the sand. Whee! Lucky the hose is full of orange juice. <laughs> Peppa and George love orange juice. <sighs> Come on, we still need to find the police car. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> Over there. That sounds like. <gasps> I told you we'd find it! Yay! Adventure! <laughs> now we just have to take it out. <gasps> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> uh, this is going to take forever. Aha! Where are you going, George? <laughs> <laughs> 
You've turned into a giant! <laughs> Peppa and George have found the police car. Nino, Nino, meow, <laughs> Beep, beep, beep. Um, do you know where the digger is, George? Um, hmm. But it looks like they'll have to go on another adventure. <laughs> to find the digger. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! And what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown-up? Dinosaur! <laughs> George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, 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 all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't go to the dentist. <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. <laughs> but you can have a sticker anyway. I think you'd make a very good dentist. <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! <gasps> you forgot us. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. <laughs> then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> <laughs> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house, please? Please. Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Yay! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Peppa is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. 
But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The Funhouse mirrors make Pepper and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> the Funhouse tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! <laughs> I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at a science museum. They are very excited to see an exhibit all about magnets. <laughs> oh, these aren't magnets. They're fish. The fish are made of metal, Peppa. So we can fish them out with these magnets. <gasps> Fishing rods. Just like on Grandpa Pig's boat. Just be careful. Magnets can be quite sticky. Phew. Peppa and George are catching lots of metal fish. And metal glasses. And metal keys. And all sorts of metal objects. Stop! May I have my watch back, please? Whoops! Sorry! Talk very much! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Bye! There we are. <laughs> oh, maybe not. <laughs> Use the magnets to race your magnetic slime to the end of the track. What magnetic slime? Maybe this button will give us the slime. Splat! <gasps> Magnets ready! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Steady, go! The slime has little bits of metal in it, so it can stick to the magnets. I'm winning! I'm winning! And the winner is... Oh! Uh... Um... I can't see who the winner is. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <gasps> what was that? Oh. <gasps> Look, George. Hmm. But what do pictures of us have to do with magnets? Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Whoa. <laughs> ah. The board uses magnets and little bits of metal, so you can draw on the pictures. <laughs> How creative, George! Dinosaur! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Daddy? I look great, Pepper. Ah, not again! <laughs> Everyone loves learning about magnets at the Science Museum. Well, Everyone except Daddy Pig. <laughs> Today, Peppa and Susie are playing in the treehouse. Oh, hello, Susie. Do come along in. How awfully, terribly kind. They're pretending to be grown-ups. We should have a big, delicious cuppa. Ugh. 
gosh, we are having lots of weather, aren't we? <gasps> Someone is at the door. Sorry to interrupt. Your oh. mummy is here to take you home, Susie. Aww. But we were going to have a tea party like grown-ups. Can we have a sleepover in the treehouse, Grandpa? Please? Oh, um... Of course <laughs> you can. You and Susie can sleep in the treehouse and Grandpa Pig and I will camp out here to look after you. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and Susie are Yay! very excited to have a sleepover in the treehouse. Here are your sleeping oh. bags, <laughs> pillows, <laughs> lots of cuddly toys, <laughs> and the best bit, a special starry lantern. Wow! wow. Ta-da! <laughs> All finished. Oh. Huh. Suppose I don't need these. Grandpa Pig is excited to sleep in the tent Whoa. too. Whoa! Ah, or perhaps I do. Once he has rebuilt it. <gasps> <laughs> it is bedtime now, so Granny and hmm. Grandpa Pig are going to their tent. Good night, you two. We're just here if you need us. <laughs> <gasps> Look, Susie. My shadow's really big. Ooh. <laughs> Mine is a bird. Tweet, tweet. And mine is a butterfly. It's really loud. Granny Pig, we need you. Oh. Is everything okay? There was a really loud noise. Gosh. My goodness! Is it a m monster? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no monsters here. Just Grandpa <gasps> Pig snoring. Oh! <laughs> Peppa and Susie love sleeping oh. in the treehouse. <laughs> what's, all, what's all this then? Oh, dear. <laughs> Even with Grandpa Pig snoring next door. Whee! It is bedtime, Whee! but George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes, Super Peppa. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. <laughs> Until... One day, she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Dinosaur. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. <sighs> so relaxing. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. 
Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> she tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. That's everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Peppa. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <sighs> hmm. Something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat. eat. <laughs> Mommy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. <laughs> this floor is green. So let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue. So let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! Let's get out of here. Um, which way did we come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <sighs> oh, I can fit through anything. <sighs> <gasps> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> Pepper and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> There's so many fish, Peppa. <gasps> How did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. What's the matter, Pepper? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So 
I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look. <gasps> no, Peppa. Yuck. Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. <sighs> the snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! <laughs> wow! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> oh. Squeak! Big bugs! This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant, it's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots. Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! yes! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> Yay! 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 Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? <laughs> well, go. Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. Bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz! We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone! Yay! <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack. It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr. And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. It's a... <gasps> Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. Oh, another apple. 
apple. Oh. By the power of vegetables, I am here. One moment. Whoa. Um, now I am here. Wow. Whoa. It is I, the superest superhero ever. And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes, too. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Pepper is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. We're all puffed out. Why can't we run fast and be super strong? Aren't we superheroes? Hmm. I've got it. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes ah. must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. We're here to save you! My heroes! My super heroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward. What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the pedals make the go-kart go And the brakes make it stop And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn It's just like riding a bike Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dear. I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <gasps> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> Huh? 
Mummy Pig is having trouble oh. making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh. We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First, you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon, they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children! Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make is red, Peppa. Ours can be blue. blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. <laughs> but Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> <gasps> now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. Phew! <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, mm. Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. Lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund. You can do it. It's really fun. Whoa! <laughs> Well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. 
Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping this rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's... Mm. Lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created mm -hmm. a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice! <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Uh -huh. <laughs> this 
juice tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice and Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. <laughs> <laughs>